Ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to learn how to draw a cake and a few other sweets in the style of Wayne Tebowd. Um, we're going to practice drawing these on a practice sheet of paper first before we go to our final piece of paper, which is going to be black, and we're going to use our oil pastels uh, to color it in and create some value. But first, we're starting out with some white paper, and we're going to practice drawing these different steps. Now, I'm going to be using a marker so that you can see what I'm doing on this video, but you're going to be using pencil, and I want you to draw really lightly so that you can do these steps and erase if you mess up, or um, there's going to be a few steps in here where you need to erase one of the lines that you've made. So make sure that you're drawing very lightly. Hold your pencil very, very loosely in your hand. So first, we need to draw an ellipse. Now an ellipse is a circle that has been flattened down, uh, sort of like a football. So think about where on your page you'd like to put your ellipse. You can put it here in the center. Um, you can turn your page whichever way you would like. Um, you could put it maybe to the side if you'd like to add some other elements on the other side of your paper. It's up to you, but I want you to think really clear carefully about your composition. So we're going to start by drawing an ellipse. Like I said, it's a circle that has been flattened down. If I can draw that a little bit darker here. So there we have our ellipse. And then you're going to draw two vertical lines on each side of your cake. So on each end, after you've drawn your ellipse, you're drawing two vertical lines. That's going to be the side of our cake. And then we're going to draw a curved line from one side to the other. You need to make sure your two sides are even, and you want to look at the curve of your ellipse. Now this bottom curve is going to be exactly that same curve, so if you need to, either use your finger or your pencil to sort of hover over that line you drew up here, and then do a curve that's exactly the same. That's going to help our cake to look three-dimensional. If you just went straight across, it wouldn't look three-dimensional. So once you've drawn that curve, come back up to the top. You're going to put a dot, very lightly, in the center of your cake. This is going to help us draw a slice cut out of our cake. So we just need to find the center of our ellipse. So somewhere around there, lightly with your pencil. And then think about where you want your slice cut out of your cake. I'd like it to be over to one side a little bit. So I'm going to draw a straight line down like that. And then I'm going to draw a second vertical line a little bit farther over. Just like that. So once you have your two vertical lines where your slice is going to be cut out of your cake, we need to draw a couple diagonal lines that are going to connect these vertical lines with our dot that we've drawn. 
So start by putting your pencil or your finger at the top of one of the vertical lines that you've drawn. And then draw with your finger over to your dot that you've made. That, can, that shows us where that line is going to go. So do a diagonal line from the top of this vertical line over to our center dot. And if you're doing this with pencil, it doesn't matter if you mess up. You can see where I've messed up a little with my pen, but that's all right. And then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to start at the top of this vertical line and draw a diagonal line to the dot in the center. So practice with your finger for a couple times if you need to, and then take your pencil and draw a line like that. So now you can start to see where our cake slice is going to be cut out. All right, so the next thing you need to do, see the angle that this top vertical line is? We need to draw a vertical line at the bottom that's parallel to that line. Now parallel means they're even. Usually we think about railroad tracks being parallel. They run right next to each other. And diagonal lines can be parallel too. If they're turned just like this. So we need to draw a line that's parallel to this line that we've drawn. And we're going to start at the bottom of this same vertical line. So see, this is the line we're copying. Go straight down to the bottom of that vertical line. And we need to make a diagonal that's parallel. It goes at the same angle as this line up here. And again, we're drawing with pencil so that you can draw it very lightly. Um, and if you mess up, you can easily erase the lines that you draw. So start by trying to trace it with your finger. Get it the same angle. And then come in with your pencil and very lightly draw a diagonal line just like that. Okay? All right. Now if you're working with your pencil, you're going to erase this section of line right here as well as this section of line right here. Now since I'm using a pen, I obviously can't erase it, so you're going to have to imagine that I erased these lines. So go ahead and erase that section of line right there and this section of line right down here. All right, next, let's do some filling in our cake. And these lines for our filling, there's a layer of frosting maybe in between our layers of cake. Um, and these lines that we're going to draw also need to be parallel to these two diagonal lines that we drew, okay? And this is gonna make the cake filling look like it's going back into our cake. If we drew it this way, it would look funny. It wouldn't look like it was three-dimensional. So again, use your finger to sort of find the angle of those two diagonal lines. Decide where you want your filling to go. And I'm going to put a couple dots, maybe one right there and one right there. That's where I want my filling to go. That's where my frosting is. I want a nice thick layer of frosting. And so my top line is going to go from that dot and it's going to go at an angle parallel to this angle up here. So start with that dot, again drawing very lightly so that you can erase if you make a mistake and draw a line parallel, just like that. And then your second line, go down a little bit where you drew your second dot, it's also going to be parallel. So it's going to be even all the way with that line that you just drew, just like that. So see how it looks like we've cut a big slice out of our cake and that's our frosting that we can see now. And then I can add a few details. Um, maybe my cake is sitting on a plate, so I need to do another ellipse that it's sitting on. I'm going to start from one side and draw out like this. Now it's not going to be a circle. Again, we want this to look like it's going back in space, like it's three-dimensional. And I'm going to draw the other side of my ellipse, just like this. 
Now perhaps you want your cake to be sitting on a pedestal. I think I might do that. So I'm going to draw a vertical line on either side of my plate that I've drawn. And I think my pedestal has a fancy edge on it. Okay. And then maybe it's on a stand like this. If I turned my paper vertical, I could do an even taller stand. Maybe it comes out to a foot like this and it's curved just like that. All right, and perhaps you would like to draw some decorations on top of your cake. Um, perhaps you'd like to do some designs in your frosting. You can, are certainly welcome to do that. Maybe my icing on the inside here has some sort of wave in it. The details that you put on your cake are up to you. Another option you have is to make a layered cake or a stacked cake. Maybe you want to make a big birthday cake. Um, so this is going to start off the same way as our cake with our slice cut out. Um, we're going to start with an ellipse. Now think again about where you want to start on your page. If you're going to make a very tall cake, and especially if it's going to be on a stand, you need to start your cake very high up. Um, if it's flatter, you could start farther down. But I'm going to start up here at the top. And again, I'm going to draw an ellipse. It's not exactly the way I like it, but if you have your pencil, you can erase those lines. And then I'm going to draw two vertical lines on each side of my ellipse. Decide how tall you want this layer of cake to be. And again, you see my vertical lines are the same length. And I'm going to draw another curved line on the bottom, just like this curved line up here. So make sure you don't do a straight across line, but a curved line, just like that. And that's going to make it look three-dimensional. All right, here's where things get a little bit different with our stacked cake. We're going to do another ellipse. Now again, you're doing this with your pencil, so you'll be able to erase some of these lines. I won't be able to with my pen. Um, but I'm, gonna, I'm going to make a bigger ellipse, so I'm going to start farther out. And I'm going to make a bigger ellipse just below that layer of cake that I just did. And you see where this overlaps. We're going to erase that part of the line in just a little bit. But then the next step is exactly the same as what we did up here on top. Take your pencil and draw two vertical lines down from the edges of your lips. Make sure they're even. And then we're going to draw another curved line at that same curve down here. So there's my second layer of cake. And again, you could do a third layer. I've still got some room on my page. So I'm going to think about where my ellipse is going to start. I can even practice without touching the page. Um, practice my ellipse. This is going to be my biggest ellipse. Something like that. It goes all the way from one side to the other. My third ellipse. And again, I'm going to draw two vertical lines from the outside edge of my ellipse. And then a curved line. I'm going to copy this curve right here, down here on the bottom, to make sure that it looks three-dimensional. All right, so there's the layers of my cake. 
then I can come back and draw a plate. Maybe my plate goes off the page like this. Maybe there's a fancy doily or a napkin or something here on my plate. Um, since you've drawn with pencil, you're going to come back and erase this line right here and this line up here. And then you can come back and decorate your cake. Think about how you'd like the frosting to be. Maybe you'd like some icing piped on here. Maybe there's a layer of frosting that comes down like this. Maybe you have some candles on your cake. So the best way to draw candles, we're going to draw two vertical lines here on top. And then we're going to draw a curved line, kind of like a smile to connect those two lines. Draw a curved line right there. And then at the top, make sure the two, the top lines of your candle are uh, equal, are the same length. And again, we're going to draw a curved line down like this, and then up around like this. So we just made another ellipse, just a very small one. And then you can put the little wick of your candle on top. You could add as many candles as you would like, as many decorations as you would like. Another option you have, uh, once you've drawn your cake, maybe you've drawn your cake with a slice cut out, is to draw your piece of cake that's been cut out on a plate. So let's think about how we'll draw that. So our piece of cake, if we were to look at it from the top, is a triangle. But if we were to look at it from the side, it's going to be a rectangle. So we can draw this a couple different ways. First off, you can draw just a rectangle. And your rectangle is probably going to be a little narrower at the top than at the bottom. Not much, but just a little bit. Now, this is, we're looking down at our cake slice. So this is the one we cut out here. So it's going to have maybe some frosting on that edge. And then our line of frosting down the middle. And then perhaps it's sitting on a little plate. So that's one easy way to make that slice of cake that we cut out but perhaps we'd like to do it another way. I'm gonna draw it up here, um, but on your final piece, uh, you would think about, okay, where is it sitting on my table? But since we're just practicing, since this is just our practice page, I'm gonna draw it up here. So I want to think about what my cake would look like if it was maybe at a little bit of an angle. So I'm gonna start by drawing a triangle. I'm gonna draw a vertical line like that. And then I think I'm looking at my cake a little bit from the top and a little bit from the side. So my triangle is not going to go straight across like this. It's going to come down at an angle just a little bit like that. And then I'm going to connect those two lines with a diagonal line. I'm going to go from the top of this vertical line to the end of this diagonal line. So connect those two lines. And then I'm going to draw the front of my cake. And again, this is going to be a diagonal line that's going to go out this direction. So start at the bottom of your triangle, right here, and draw a diagonal line that goes up like that. You see that? So the, these two diagonal lines sort of form a V. But this one on this side is going to be a lot shorter. And then I'm going to come up here to the top of my triangle and I'm going to draw another parallel line. It needs to be parallel. It needs to be the same angle as this line down here. I'm going to draw a line up here. About the same length. 
So see those lines are about the same length. And then I'm just going to draw another diagonal line to connect those two. There we go. So that looks like a piece of cake or maybe a piece of cheese. Um, so this is the inside of my cake here. We can see the frosting on this side and all on this side. And then our layer of frosting in between is going to be in the middle. So we're going to do two more diagonal lines that are parallel to these two lines in the front of our cake. So again, draw lightly with your pencil so that you can erase if you make a mistake or if it doesn't look right. These are parallel lines and that's our layer of frosting in between. And again, I can draw my cake on a plate, draw an ellipse. If it goes off your page, that's perfectly all right. All right, so what I want you guys to do is take your practice page and practice doing several kinds of cakes. Try doing one layer with a slice cut out. Maybe try drawing our two different slices um, sitting on a plate next to it. And then try drawing a stacked cake, a layered cake. And practice drawing some different decorations. Um, you could do anything you wanted. Any sort of designs or sprinkles or candles. Um, again, maybe there's a fancy napkin or a doily on here. So practice drawing all of these things until you feel comfortable, until you feel satisfied with what you've drawn. And think about the layout, where you want everything to be, where you want your main cake to be, where you want any slices to be. If you want anything in the background, I can have my cake sitting on a table by drawing just a horizontal line here. And once you've gotten a drawing that you're happy with, a practice drawing that you're happy with, you're going to take your black piece of paper and drawing again lightly with pencil, I want you to draw out your entire composition. Draw your cake, your cake stands, your slices, anything that you want to add to your drawing. And then next week we'll come in and add some color and some different values with oil pastels to really make it look three-dimensional.